Welcome to Cozy Nights, a nice quiet place where you can uh, leave your troubles at the door and just relax. I'm your host, Noe, here with my friend Michael. So please sit back, get comfortable, and let's see if we can make you laugh a little, maybe learn a little. All right, guys. Well, guess what? We're back to Cozy Nights. <laughs> I thought I was dead, but you can't kill a zombie. <laughs> Unless you go for the head, and I missed. <laughs> Uh, so, as you know, Cozy Nights usually is a little bit of news, a little bit of kitchen stuff, and then at the end, we just uh, bullshit. <laughs> I might shouldn't have said that already, because now we're demonetized the so first minute in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so we start with some news. I got this from the Oklahoman, because I'm old, and I read the newspaper like an old man. You got the morning paper? Please. <laughs> I can't work on these newfangled phones. But I just like having the newspaper. <laughs> so uh, I got this from the Oklahoman, but it's... They got the story from the USA Today, and it was written by uh, Zachary Sh- uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his name. It's S-C-H-E-R-M-E-L-E, Shermel, I guess maybe. But uh, the story basically is uh, that now schools are having another problem, aside from the ov- obvious problems they already have, yeah. with like bad education, like uh, funding and you know the other stuff with, with the, the pew-pews. And, uh, pew pew lie. She is. <laughs> not only that, and they got that and that, right? And not only them having also the fact that when they re- they leave school, uh, they're going to come into a world of absolute, like, uh, grind where you got to work like 18 jobs just to pay your uh, a rent because you can't even afford a house. So they, they, oh, they got all those problems happening for them, right? On top of that, now they now have, uh, basically, uh, deep, uh, deep fake AI. Nude photos of them being circulated throughout the school. So basically, it's these poor young uh, girls having boys uh, deep fake their videos and then passing them around school. And I'm like, God dang, it just never ends for them, huh? Yeah. Kids be going through it nowadays. Because in general, uh, my thoughts have always been like cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. Let's turn it off. If you're get, like if you're on a website and they're making fun of you, that's one thing. Like where they're saying mean things to you, quote unquote. You can turn off the computer. That's fine. But if they're sending around deep fake new no, 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 you're like, and you're under, a little different. Plus, you're underage, so yeah, that's basically child pornography. I don't even think. Uh, well, I was gonna say I know that most of those AI websites and stuff they try to prevent any of that. They don't try to prevent nothing. It's AI deep fakes will let you do anything. No, not the not the deep fake ones. I'm saying like the actual like AI creation tools and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can't use the word young. You can't use like certain age groups. Like it will not let What am I just saying? Not, not old. <laughs> They'll probably say can't use that. Okay. Uh uh what the, what the another yeah, he up, he's super super creative. Yeah. Creative. It's not even like that I would want to. It's like, don't you tell me what I can't do. Because <laughs> I remember I was playing Kingdom Hearts mm-hmm. and I couldn't put dirty. They make you name your ship and you can't give it dirty words, right? Yeah. Because it knows all of them. I'm like, oh, so game on then. What? So I spent 45 minutes trying to figure out something obscene to say and I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it took some time. Yeah, but that's all I need is time. Yeah, but these high school kids ain't got that. I'm basically Batman. All I need is prep time. No, but see, here's the thing, though. You have an attention span for that kind of stuff. Kids now, it's uh, every 45 seconds, they're constantly going on to something new. I, I guess. Or maybe that's just something that parents tell you about kids. No. I, I feel like every generation before always has something bad to say about the generation after. No, I have uh, things bad to say about both generations after and before. And the only reason being is that I work with kids. Well, not kids, but... Uh, People right over the age of 21 in my type of business. An old man in this day and age. Yeah, these people don't have attention span at all. It's like, I'm I'm riding with them. And I don't have an attention span. What are we talking about, actually? I said for certain things. For everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's why we're back to Cozy Nights. That is true. <laughs> so, uh, basically, the story starts off in Illinois High School, and this girl finds out that there's deep fakes about her. And the, the principal calls her in, and she's she's she was a twenty second student. He had to call in for, about this incident, so there was twenty one before her that were told that hey, there's some uh, photos about you being, you know. So I'm like, God dang, that, that principal must have been going through it. I would hate to be a teacher in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, imagine the defects they make of them. Oh yeah, they they said there was from for teachers too. Like dang, huh? <laughs> dang. Uh, yeah, I could think of one teacher that they would have been doing that too. Yeah, when we were in high school. At least we didn't uh, talk about her like they did. Yeah, no. 
all, our, all the other students were like, uh, they got thrown under the bus by the women student. <laughs> all it took was one class trip. That's what you guys get for talking dirty. I always kept it myself. <laughs> Keep your furry thoughts to yourself. Basically. <laughs> I'll stop you in jail. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. Deep fakes. I mean, like, I understand the curiosity of wanting to know what someone looks like naked. Yeah. Like an ingrained human thing, right? Because of, of clothing. Like, oh, I wonder what that person looks like naked, right? But like uh, to like you have to to go on a computer, but like, you know to write the like okay you get you gotta make her give give her bigger titties and I'm like are you come come on <laughs> calm down. See, I think that's some of the allure though is a uh, like as an adult when you're looking at a woman, them not being automatically nude, it makes your mind go more like depending on what kind of clothes they're wearing. Mm-hmm. Whereas if like with OnlyFans, right? I've never found that any kind of attractive just for the plain fact it's like well here it is <laughs> like, there's no mystery there's no nothing it's like just boom i'm the opposite i'm like here's my money shoot me more <laughs> uh, over here something so i am the thirstiest man that's ever lived okay <laughs> you have no idea you <laughs> just over here desert <laughs> bit in my mouth please <laughs> you're gonna find one girl that will do that and that, that, then that would be like, oh, no, no. Can you just walk away with your head down? Basically, yeah. One of those things where you're like, you're always the one talking, and then when it actually gets serious, you're like, oh, fuck. Uh-oh. It's like, oh, no, no I'm good. <laughs> it's just all talk now. Basically, yeah, I'm all talk. I'm no business. <laughs> all right, so that's all the stories I had for news because I wasn't going to do cozy nights at all. But I do have uh, one to add to that. Uh, Ooh. Well, two technically, one to do with the deep. Oh, by the way, the uh, the cozy news, not the, not the not the cozy news, but it's going to be called the odd news report. Uh, for from moving on from so it's cozy nights the overall. Yeah. And then we go to co- uh, the odd news report, then cozy kitchen, and then the very end is just the uh, you know what springs to mind. Uh, with deep fakes, uh, did you ever see that YouTuber or maybe Twitch streamer where uh, his girlfriend caught him? Yeah, looking at Pokemon and all them. Looking at one of his uh, friends, deep fake. Yeah, his coworker, Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> and they had to, he had to do like got to, he had to do an apology, you like he had to do an, like a apology, like fucking Bill Clinton sat in front of the podium, like God dang, all right, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. No, <laughs> she knew what. I don't know if you'd have seen that or not. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I remember that. But that that was a problem then with deep fakes. Oh yeah, I guess it was a few like a couple of years ago, wasn't it? And now even it's like imagine what they've got now with AI. Yeah, I don't know. I hope it's not that bad. <laughs> and then the other one to do with the AI for you is uh did you see that uh the scandal going around with DC Comics and AI? Mm-mm. There's an artist that has a new uh it's I think it's part of that Joker series that you were talking about. The anthology? I think. It, it's to do with Joker regardless, but I don't know if it's the same uh, anthology, though. But uh, people are accusing him of using AI to generate the comic book images. Because mm-hmm. they looked at his old work, and it looks nothing like it <laughs> in the new comics. He's got he's posted a couple of things to Instagram, and he has this comic book with the same art style, right? Yeah. But the hands are fucked up. <laughs> and then, like, Joker's missing a nipple. Oh. Yeah. Like just random things, you were random. like, "Huh?" And when that pe- when people have run those images through the uh, AI detection software, it comes back as having AI artwork in it. Hmm. So if DC is trying to sell people AI artwork, we're in the. It's like DC was already going downhill in comic books, but we're at a totally different level with that. Hmm. Like I could create Batman comic books with AI art. That'd be cool. I get the shit suit out of it. Exactly. But I'm not going to pay for a computer generated, no artistic uh, input really at all, besides make it look like this. Well, isn't that what CGI is? Uh, yeah, but you have to go through a bunch of. You can't just tell it to do something. Uh, okay. Like you actually have to put some effort into it. Man, if I was an artist, right, you know what I would do? I would deep fake a deep fake. That way, like, when they, like, I would pretend it's a deep fake. They post it, and I never acknowledge it. And every time I try to run it through the thing, like, this is real art. They're like, what the fuck? They're, the hands are all fucked up. And like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got you again. <laughs> be the worst artist ever. <laughs> Just put up stick. I would be making deep, deep fake fakes. <laughs> I'd be on a, I'm on a whole different level than you people. You don't even understand what I get capable of. I beat the AI. I beat the AI. I beat you. I beat everybody. <laughs> no way. 2020 present. 2024 president. 
Vote <laughs> <Long> for me. <laughs> you just write it in. I'll, I will, uh, I'll be, I'll, uh, I'll model myself after the greatest president's ever lived, Theodore Roosevelt. You go out there and just start bare knuckle boxing. You bare knuckle fucking fucking people in the fucking White House lot. <laughs> like, who wants to fucking go? <laughs> go out there and start hunting some shit. God, I love that man. <laughs> no homo, I love that man. <laughs> My favorite president. What's funny is that we had Theodore Roosevelt, then they had uh, Churchill, and they were both kind of the same type of people. Just they were just built for that world and war. <laughs> I guess they were built for their times. But man, they both smoked a shit ton. They both drank a lot. If I remember right, Abraham Lincoln's like three hundred and one in uh, wrestling. <laughs> like he just fucking spent days just fucking choke slamming people. <laughs> man, they were built different back in the day. Yeah, and yeah, the other got shot, and he had a, he he's like, I don't know if you guys understand, but I just got shot, so I'm trying to be brief. And he had a 45 minute hey, speech he gave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to the cozy kitchen. Uh, I ordered three books from Amazon for uh, food history, so I can uh, we can delve into like the actual like just the uh, historical uh, eateries, I guess, and right. like just. Uh, how processes and stuff, but I don't have those books at the moment. <laughs> so the best story I have at the moment is the fact that there's 30,000 uh, variations of the apple. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. 30,000? Yeah. Jesus. And I was like, oh, and I was like, bad. So when, when, when we have a more of a, a set and a space and a video recording and live and stuff like that, we're going to eat 30,000 apples. Not in one city. Just have the shits for days. Just like uh, every video we'd have, like, now, now let's try five new apples. <laughs> we'll probably be so fucking pissed off at apples after a thousand. You like, I hate fucking company, too. Like, I can't stand <laughs> apples. You just that. Uh, Carry a fucking Samsung. <laughs> you just take it to the name Apple. Eh? It just fucking makes you... Uh, <laughs> uh, you're all on regular uh, uh, vinegar or ap uh, apple vinegar? <laughs> I will say one of the coolest ones that I've tried is uh, down there from the uh, Grapevine uh, Farmer's Market. Mm -hmm. They were selling apples that uh, they're red on the inside. Like all the way through. Yeah. Are you, are you still alive? Yeah. That sounds fucking scary. If I bit into a motherfucking apple and it just came back red. <laughs> they kind of have, uh, they're like, they almost have like an orange taste to them. Apple and orange. Really? Yeah. God, what fucking oh, man-made horrors are we making? <laughs> you don't want to know. Apples that are red on the inside. Yeah, or pink. What if they, what if they were white on the outside? They got flipped it. I'm sure they exist. I know the the, the rarest apple is a uh, it's purple and purple. like white on the inside, and it tastes like uh, cream soda or something. I can't remember if that's true or not. Oh, really? But it's like up in like Tibet. Like it, it's like they can barely cost like twenty grand <laughs> uh, an apple or something. Oh my God! I might be joking on that part, but I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. But like, they're they're so rare and they're so hard to make <laughs> that they're just like uh, uh, they're like purple. They're like deep purple and like really bright white when you bite into it. Yeah, and I forgot what they're called, but uh, they're the rarest apples in the world. Huh. And well, you know, when we have the money, we'll buy some. Yeah, see, so they're called Lucy apples. Lucy apples. They are red as fuck. Look at that. Yeah, they had those down there in uh, Grapevines. That looks fun. Those market. We should try those next time if you get a hold of some. Like I said, they're good. <laughs> Let me look up the rarest apple. Rarest. <laughs> Not terrorist. <laughs> they give me on some watch list. No. What the fuck? He hit the uh, the T. Rare. <laughs> you just hit me on some watch list where it's like terrorist apple. He knew it like immediately. The, the black diamond apple. Oh, the black diamond apple? Yeah. It doesn't look purple. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> huh. The, it's from uh, China? Yeah. Well, uh, Tibetan region. Yeah. And I was like, we got to try that someday. From Yingqi. And then right, type in price. <laughs> <laughs> see what it gets. Uh. Oh, gosh. Let's see here. Uh, the most expensive apples. Uh, no, the uh, Sikai Ichi apple is considered the world's most expensive apple variety, costing about $20 per apple. It's not bad. I mean, that's that's $20, though, for one apple. <laughs> People flip out when it's like a fucking $1.19 a pound for uh, 
uh, onion crisp, a honey crisp. Yeah, like that's that's pretty expensive for a single apple. For a single apple, yeah. It's still, you know, it's still not that expensive. <laughs> it was like two hundred, two thousand dollars for this one apple. <laughs> like, what does it cure cancer too? It, it might. Uh, um, people yeah we'll be covering all that food history for sure we're gonna try that uh delicious elvis presley uh sandwich you remember oh yeah, yeah. i had a pound of jam and the pound of peanut butter and a pound of uh no it was a full jar of peanut butter a full jar of jam and a, t- a pound of bacon and people wonder how he died it's like, yeah, he died because his fucking organ gave up on him <laughs> uh, oh no the black apple very ancient variety is uh i think that's the one you were talking about there it is yeah 249 dollars. holy shit <laughs> that's an expensive boy <laughs> yeah that's a little that's a little it better t- i better fucking jizz the minute i take a bite <laughs> for that much fucking money <laughs> what if you bite and you're like this is fucking disgusting <laughs> And you eat the whole thing of the 200 and stuff. <laughs> just sit there. <laughs> just eat it out of fucking spite. <laughs> that would be funny. It would be. <laughs> All right. So we move on. We keep on with the cozy kitchen. We have a few recipes uh, from uh, the women's world. <laughs> hey, man, they got the recipes for days. <laughs> Usually sweets. And they, they have a ton of junk food, like uh, cupcakes and uh, pies. And I'm like, where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> so I found uh, this guy by the name of Jamie and some of his recipes. Uh, Jamie's satisfying five ingredient meal. Oh God, is that Jamie Oliver? I don't know. Jamie oh, Oliver. God. I don't know. Just says Jamie. Oh yeah, it is Jamie Oliver. <laughs> From Star Chef Jamie Oliver. Oh, uh, uh, this uh, this may not taste good. Then just saying, so you know. <laughs> Uncle Roger would tell you all about Jamie Oliver. So we he fuck up the rice. <laughs> So he's got Herbie steak and crispy potatoes. That's a good meal right there. So he wants one pound red skin potatoes, one 10 ounce sirloin steak, six teaspoons fresh green pesto or pisto. Pesto. How do you say pisto? Pesto. It's still pesto? Yeah. They're both pesto. P E S T O and then the other one's P I S T O U. Pesto? There you go, pesto. I'm like, that's not pesto. Uh, six... it's, it's going to taste like pesto. <laughs> six ripe medium mix colored tomatoes three fourth uh ounce shelled unsalted pistachios i'm not really liking this i'm not liking this at all <laughs> yeah, is that? Then, he, then he just writes staples <laughs> then he writes the word staples i don't know what that's yeah. fucking staples <laughs> yeah like it just says staples <laughs> sea salt black pepper red wine vinegar and olive oil what, what do you mean staples? Like something that are uh, generally used in that type of a oh. dish. At what amount? See, there's no amounts on this. <laughs> Just put it in there. <laughs> Famous last words. Just put it in there. Yeah, we, like <laughs> literally. <laughs> you, you, you see, like the uh, the fucking like they're at the nuclear power plant, and they're like, so should we put this uh, bar of a uh, thing in here? Like, yeah, just put it in there. And fucking bitch, it blows up. <laughs> They go with so many things, so it's like, ah, oh, I ain't got any, uh, you know, protection. Yeah, just put it in there. Nine months later, <laughs> you let him hit it raw. Now you're a single mom. It doesn't ever end well when you just say, just put it in there for anything. Mm. <laughs> the dog's like, yeah, just put it in there. <laughs> All right, so uh, he says, scrub potatoes, chop into three fourth chunks, then place in large non skillet. Non stick skillet on medium heat with two tablespoons of olive oil and season with sea salt and black pepper. How much? To your the, taste. To my taste. I hope so. You I got, pour the whole fucking I got thing. terrible taste. I've still got to learn how to be a chef. I can't cook shit. <laughs> just give it to somebody and just salt. Just fucking fill my palm with salt and just dump it in there. <laughs> Fry 20 minutes or until golden and cook through, stirring, uh, stirring regularly, then transfer the bowl, put skillet back on high heat. <clears throat> so cut the fat off the steak. Then what? Roll... Oh, the fat's a good part. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ask James Oliver. <laughs> so cut the fat off the steak, then roughly chop the fat and place in the skillet to render. Uh, to render. Okay, so he still uses it then. I guess so. Uh, generously season steak, rub all over with t- uh, two ta- uh, teaspoons of pesto. Okay, so he, he'll tell you the exact amount of pesto, but he won't tell you how much salt or pepper. <laughs> I guess not. And cook for three minutes on each side for medium rare. 
or to your liking. Remove to uh, to a plate to rest. Rest from what? He's <laughs> fucking exhausted. Return the potatoes to skillet to warm the uh, through while you can slice the tomatoes one half inch and arrange on serving plates. I, I never liked food arrangement. I just dumped that. She let me eat it. Like I like when they do like, okay, I get the, 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 that's their culture, right? The, the chef culture where there's going to be like perfectly placed leaves yeah. on a plate. And I'm like, well, well, if you're going to a restaurant, you're paying $200 for a meal. And the shit better look nice. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's edible to me. <laughs> it's one bite of something. I'm so disgusting that if you just dumped all my food into a bowl like a pig straw. <laughs> 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 oh, well, as long as I can eat it. That's what I tell women. As long as I can eat it. I don't care what it looks like. Pig straw. It looks like pig straw. Uh, so what are you doing? Oh, so dress a splash of red wine vinegar and drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And season two, what is extra virgin olive oil? What does that mean? It's uh, the first pressing of olive oh, oil. Okay. And drizzle extra virgin olive oil and season to perfection. Spoon over potatoes, then slice and divide up steak, pouring over any resting juices. Spoon over the remaining pesto. Where, where's the, the pist? Oh, or, or, or pistio. Okay. I'm like, where's pistio at? <laughs> I just realized. Uh, spoon the remaining uh, pesto, then bash and scatter. <laughs> bash? And scatter over the pistachios. I forgot about I forgot about the pistachios. Finish with a drizzle of extra olive oil if you like. Serving two, you know, for you and your significant other. Active time thirty minutes. Total time thirty minutes. He won't tell me any nutritional value, so that's what I'm worried about. Because there's no nutritional value. What about the steak and the potatoes? He's got another one here called the uh, the epic. I don't know if this is his though. Yeah, it is. They're both those. Okay, the epic shrimp beans. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> All right. So, epic shrimp beans. He wants six ounce sour bread, sourdough bread. So we're off, we're off to a rough start because sourdough bread is fucking disgusting to me. <laughs> what's it? What's it good for? Uh, you can make sourdough loaves. You can make sourdough rolls. But like, what is sour like in general? What do you eat sourdough bread with? Bread, like anything. Because I tried to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, that it would not be good in sourdough bread. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Soup. Ah. Uh, like if you're having like a uh, deli sandwich. Okay. That type of thing. So I just, I just picked the wrong choice. Yeah. Sour <laughs> dough, peanut butter. I can already tell you. <laughs> you would be, like, uh, be like getting raisin, uh, brown sugar raisin bread but and using it for like a ham sandwich. Oh. <laughs> that would be. Fucking disgusting. We should try that. <laughs> I want to see you falling everywhere. We should try the sourdough peanut butter jelly sandwich and a raisin bread ham. <laughs> and then the way they're supposed to taste. You're like. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey, hey, see, that's almost as bad as people that put raisins into potato salad. It just does not go in there. Fucking gross. So we got six ounce sourdough bread, ten ounce raw peeled extra jumbo shrimp. By the way, jumbo shrimp, tiny shrimp, it all looks small at the end when they're cooked. I'm gonna be dead serious with you. <laughs> I've never had a big, you know, the big pieces of shrimp from Golden Corral. Yeah, I've never had those. <laughs> I would go to the Walmart and buy those jumbo shrimp, right? I cook them and they look the tiniest. But <laughs> shrimp, those fuckers. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> they just all come out burnt and black. They just all come out like fucking minuscule. Uh, six cloves garlic, thinly sliced. A lot of garlic. Six cloves garlic, thinly sliced. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Dude, I gotcha. Uh, <laughs> one 15 ounce uh, canned cannoli beans, and one tablespoon harissa or rosa harissa. What is harissa? Fuck it. <laughs> uh, stay, he also has staples. You need your staples again. <laughs> salt, pepper, olive oil. Oh, oh. salt, black pepper, olive oil, red. This man loves red wine vinegar <laughs> and fucking olive oil. <laughs> that's why he's called Jamie Oliver. Well, that's why this shit is fucking five ingredients. It's <laughs> fucking same five bullshit. Because there's like fucking 18 things on here. Oh, Jamie Oliver, you fucking liar. That's why uh, Uncle Roger calls him uh, Jamie Olive Oil. Because <laughs> he puts olive oil into uh, fried rice. It fucking seems like it. <laughs> so he says, slice the bread into one inch cubes. Let me look at this picture. One inch cube. Place it in a large non-stick skillet. And I like how they have to tell you non-stick. Like, okay, because like, I, I, I want my food sticking to the bottom of my fucking pan. 
But then again, if you use a cast iron that's been seasoned, uh huh, it's non stick. So Is it it shouldn't be implied that you don't want it to stick? You would think. So they're always like, no, I make sure it's non stick. Like, yeah. <laughs> I would hate for my eggs to stick to the bottom of my fucking thing. Yeah. And non stick skillet on a high heat and toast until golden, uh turning regularly. Meanwhile So you want some toasted sourdough? What is that? It's like, oh Lord. Meanwhile, devein the shrimp, place it in a bowl with one tablespoon of olive oil and a pinch of sea salt and black pepper. Now, that I, a pinch, I understand. It's a literal pinch. Take your fucking fingers and pinch it. With no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> then peel and uh, finely slice the garlic, add to the shrimp, and toss together. Who has a lot of garlic? <laughs> Tip the beans into a saucepan, juices and all. Add the harissa. I don't know what the fuck harissa is. Then cover and simmer gently five minutes or until, uh, until thick and stirring occasionally. Right. As soon as the bread is golden, tip the contents of the bowl into the skillet, add a splash of red wine vinegar. There it is, red wine vinegar. Uh, harissa is a hot chili pepper paste. Cool. This is going to be hot. It's a hot boy. <laughs> then cook for two minutes or until shrimp are, are just cooked, uh, tossing regularly. Taste beans and season to perfection. Then divide between plates, top with the shrimp and crispy croutons. Croutons too, huh? That's the that's what the sourdough got turned into. Okay. Serving Sourdough croutons. <laughs> so, serving two active time 20. It's a lot of just two people. Or just one fat guy like me. <laughs> Two servings. <laughs> Two servings one time. Uh, active time 20 minutes, total time 20 minutes. So it only takes you 20 minutes to make this. But man, there's a lot of beans. A lot of fucking garlic. <laughs> so you're going to have bad breath and the shits. Yeah, no kidding. Clover is there. I think. These two are his? I think. Yep, <laughs> Staples is Staples. <laughs> you know it's his. <laughs> Let's see, pot roast chicken or lemony argula far, farfel. I don't know what that is. It looks like a fucking salad. Is that? That is fuck. That is green fucking pasta. <laughs> oh, these all come from his book, James, uh, James about Five Ingredients, Mediterranean, Simple, Incredible Food. Yeah, don't buy that book. Michael does not like James Oliver. No. I don't blame him. <laughs> no. Your breath is going to smell like garlic and... And not even in a good way. Like, it's not something that, like, uh... Like, that, like, uh, enhances the flavor? Right. It, it's, I mean, or, like, for instance, it's not like, uh, garlic shrimp. How there is a, there actually is a garlic shrimp. Good. He's putting it over beans and putting it, it's like, I'm like a red and white, I'm fucking plastered. And he, even if he's getting these from, like, a Mediterranean-style thing, like, with olive oil and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not using red wine vinegar, vinegar for all this shit. Yeah, but he loves it. Those are the five staples. Salt, pepper. Yeah, it's his five staples are basically, let me see. Salt, pepper, olive oil. It's sea salt, black pepper, red wine vinegar, and olive oil. What's this? Only four. James Oliver, you only have four staples. But he calls it five? It is only four. Because on this one, it's just sea salt, black pepper, olive oil. This one's sea salt, salt and olive oil. There is no five. <laughs> so he lied. <laughs> he can't count either. Weird. It's not unless it's something else we're missing, but there's no fight. It could be part of his other It could be considered the top thing or maybe the actual food. Maybe it's the fact that would be way more than five. Yeah, like that's like you got potatoes, you got pesto, you got uh, <laughs> tomatoes, you got pistachios, you got the steak and the I mean the god dang. It's not five. Wait, hold on, let me count. Potato, steak, pesto, tomatoes, pistachios. Oh, it is five. But not for everything, is it? Uh sourdough, dr shrimp, garlic. Cannoli beans, harissa. Yeah, it's five. Oh, is it five? Well, look at that. He was right. Uh, Farfel, argula, lemons, parmesan cheese, pistachio. God damn, pistachios. Whole chicken, potatoes, parsley, garlic. Yeah, but it's five ingredients. All right. Yeah, but that's not the, the same five ingredients. He made it sound like it was the same five. I thought it was two, but I guess not. It's it's the, the, got, he... So the staples aren't considered part of the ingredients, but they kind of are, though. Yeah. So there's not technically five ingredients. Not 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 not, a long, not, not like have, by recipe right. standard. But I guess because staples are considered like you're all you always have them present. Like you'll always have pepper and salt. You won't have red wine vinegar. I do. I'm an alcoholic. I think you can eat drinking vinegar. <laughs> you get no alcohol from me. I don't know why I can't get drunk. <laughs> My stomach's always bubbling. Got them bubble guts for days. <laughs> Nothing, there's nothing worse in this life than to get bubble guts in public. Oh. And then someone hears it. You really look at you. You need to use restroom, don't you? And they're like, the power of Christ. 
Like, it's just like, it's just, oh man, it's just like, so, and like, or when you get really, really bad gas, you yeah. gotta hold it, but you hold it so often that if I, <laughs> like the last one just like, <laughs> it starts talking to you. Yeah, like it starts just growling. I'm like, man, you need to release me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said that because I have bubble guts now. Just from thinking about this food. <laughs> I'll be giving you bubble guts. I got empathetic bubble guts. <laughs> uh, next week, we will talk about a bit more stuff like the Singapore sling and the uh, vermicelli spring rolls. I love me some spring rolls. Spring rolls are very good. Maybe some uh, orange cupcakes, but man, there's so much dessert on here. And actually, to be fair, uh, sometimes I'd rather have a uh, spring roll than an egg roll. Yeah. They're fresh. They're good. Mostly like during the summertime. Because, I don't know, like, for me, I don't know about for you, but, like, deep fried foods in the summer, sometimes it just, it's like, uh, you look at the grease of it, and it's like, uh, like, soda when it's really hot, like, you're just like it doesn't hit like water does. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, I want that. A spring roll, though, in the middle of summer, it's cold, it's good. Nice. It doesn't dry out your mouth. Unless you eat it like I do. <laughs> you just eat them whole. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for Cozy Nights number 11. We'll be back next week for number 12. As always, my new outro is always stay well-informed and well-fed. Adios. (laughs)